What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about something absolutely incredible how some financial expert just talked about AMC and why he believes in the squeeze. Now, before I get started, I have to mention I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so not take this as financial legal or taxation advice. It's all for entertainment purposes only. Secondly, if you can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this, and all benefits me, but it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. It helps more people learn about AMC, their conviction, become more and more confident, and helps people just become more and more confident confident and learn more about amc with that said and done guys i'm going to get on with it so basically peter hahn for those of you who don't know he's a fixed income portfolio manager at the city of calgary and he basically mentioned that let's talk get uh, gamestop he said on his linkedin and actually he's a licensed cfa he could give financial advice he's super super knowledgeable and he said this he said i have gotten a lot of people asking me over the month, why I focused so much on AMC. I told them simply that I opted to buy the cheaper squeeze for my personal portfolio. So we don't have to go on from there. Just look at what he just said. He t said that he's going to buy the cheaper squeeze for his portfolio. That's an implication that he believes AMC is going to squeeze. He loaded the boat on AMC during the dip. You guys have to remember that. This is not me. This is not some other YouTuber. This is not your uncle. This is a professional CFA known as Peter Hahn, who is a fixed income portfolio manager at the city of Calgary. He is the pro. He is the expert. And he just said that he bought more AMC because he wants the cheaper squeeze the cheaper squeeze for his personal portfolio. And someone else commented, his name is uh, Manuel Cruz. He said, just $5 for a guaranteed jackpot ticket. Count me in, but both GME and AMC are legit. So like I said before, guys, in many of my other videos, we are not choosing one over the other, even though Peter Hahn did talk about why he chose AMC over GME. But I'm not going to tell you guys to do that, guys. I'm not giving you advice to do that. I'm not saying... I'm not trying to bash anyone. Both AMC and GameStop are great plays. However, this channel is primarily focused on AMC. That doesn't mean that GameStop is not great. GameStop is amazing too. It's going to squeeze as well. But AMC has just as much, if not more, potential. In my opinion, it has tons of potential as well. But remember, GameStop and AMC are brothers in hand. They're hand in hand, working together for the same purpose, same goal. They're fighting the same enemy. And we are all a huge, huge, huge family. Now, we're a closer family as apes, but don't forget that our cousins are the GameStop community and we are not hating on anyone. But I just don't want to bash GameStop. I'm simply telling you that Peter Hahn has bought AMC and he believes in the squeeze. This is just even more uh, credibility. This is more and more evidence that if you do not want to trust everyone you see on the internet, even Charles Payne said that AMC is going to squeeze in his opinion. He said that AMC should be $1,000 at least. So even if you think that's very, very low, but Charles Payne could only say so many things. Charles Payne obviously cannot go into too much detail, but both Charles Payne and Peter Hunt are very, very, very knowledgeable. And they're saying the same thing. And this is just more and more and more um, evidence. It makes me more and more confident that AMC will squeeze. So going on to this article, Citadel loses billions. Hedge funds are getting dragged down. This is 100% a fact, guys. Hedge funds such as Citadel and Melvin Capital are losing billions of dollars and fast. They're shorting a stock that is no longer on the brink of bankruptcy. Whether they want, whether you believe it or not, guys, it's the truth. They're trying to make it seem like they're, they have their heads up. They're so strong. They're winning. They're, they're so confident. They're trying to trick you. They're trying to scare you. And my question to you is, are you going to let them trick you? Are you going to let them scare you into thinking that they have the upper hand, that they have the trump cards, that they have the advantages? Are you sure about that, guys? Do you actually think that? Well, the truth is, in order for them to hold their positions, in order for them to short AMC, when there's so much short volume that happens, they keep shorting it. They keep doing it. And the short interest is reflecting that. There's almost 100 million confirmed shares that are short right now. It's probably much, much higher if you account for the synthetic shares. It's just that we don't know how many synthetic shares there are. But it's important to know that they are losing money by the day. They are losing and losing and losing money. However, it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to squeeze tomorrow because once again, they are playing mind games. They have psychologists working for them to try to trick you into selling your position. They're trying to do whatever they can to manipulate AMC and keep it down. So this is happening, guys. When AMC has massive, massive fluctuations, if you look at the stock price, it has fluctuated all over the place in the past. Just look at the past day. And this is obviously outdated, guys, because AMC is at a different price 
right now. I'm simply recording this a day before, but I'm just letting you guys know. Look, there's so many movements, so many movements. The hedge funds are attacking it and trying to bring it down. If I do pull up the short volume percentage, the short interest, the dark pull down, they're trying to attack it. And I want you to know that there are people out there that are trying to trick you. They're spreading FUD. And they want AMC to crash. And just look at this value investor right over here. His name is Joel Greenblatt. He lost over $400 million just trying to short lots and lots of companies such as AMC. Imagine losing $400 million on a meme stock. Well, AMC is not just a meme stock, guys. It is something better than that, okay? This person made a meme on Reddit. It says that I'm currently cleaning a toilet and it's still more fun than being a hedge fund. LOL, that's totally true and funny. But I just want to bring back what I said, guys. There are, were so many big institutions out there. For those of you who don't remember, we had Renaissance Technology. We had BlackRock buying tons of AMC. Now, would these hedge funds be our friends? The answer is, I would assume that it's a good sign that many, many, many huge companies are buying AMC. But I'm not going to say that they're our best friends. I'm not going to say that they're, you know, you know they have, you know, our interest at hand because they have their own interest at hand. They want to make money, which is why so many people loaded the boat. But once again, Peter Hahn has bought the dip and he believes in the squeeze. Uh, if Renaissance Technologies ends up buying tons and tons of AMC, tripling their position, and they believe in the squeeze, that's another indicator that's going to happen. Not just, I believe it's not just the gamma squeeze we're talking about. Not just the run up. I'm going to pull up the one year chart, guys. Not just the run up to 72. That is not what we're talking about. There are, in my opinion, going to be many, many squeezes, gamma squeezes, FOMO rallies. They're going to happen. There may even be a delta squeeze coming up in the future. And AMC could fluctuate. It could, it will, it could stay in the 40s. It could go as high as the 80s. It could beat the 72, which I believe it's going to end up doing. It could go higher and higher and lower and lower and higher and lower. It's going to fluctuate, go back and forth. There's going to be lots of volatility. But remember, when we talk about these things, we are not just talking about the mother of all short squeezes. There are people that think AMC will squeeze up to about $70 and just end there. There are people that think that the $72 run up, the, the rally when it ran up to $72, people think that that was the squeeze. That is not the squeeze, guys. This is not the mother of all short squeezes we are talking about. The squeeze that Peter Hahn, right over here, Peter Hahn, that Charles Payne have talked about, the mother of all short squeezes, it, it's set up to happen because of the short interest, the utilization of AMC and many, many other indicators. So... It's going to go well above 72, in my opinion, based on technical analysis, based off the data, and based off what's happening. It's just that the price is manipulated. The dark pools are keeping it down, and they're trying to trick you into selling. They're trying to let you know that they're winning, but that's not what's going on. They are losing, considering that they shorted AMC back when it was 10 bucks a share. I mean, for the apes out there, guys, there's massive, massive upside potential. And Peter Hahn, Charles Payne, even Mark Cuban, all these people out there that have spoken in favor of AMC, the other people that have said that AMC is going to squeeze. Huge shout out to them. This is just more and more and more evidence that we are telling the truth that AMC has massive, massive, massive potential. So with that said and done, guys, I want to thank you so much for listening. Once again, I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert. This is all for entertainment purposes, but just thank you for listening, guys. It's been a pleasure being part of this movement. It's been a pleasure um, making videos for you guys, and I just see more and more and more conviction that AMC is going to squeeze. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you on the next one.